This is amazing. Now we are going to fine tune a multi-modal model with image. We are going to use Edifix 9 billion parameter model and fine tune with these doodles. When we ask a question, what's in this picture? The response from the model is a person wearing glasses. But we need to add more details to it. We want to make the large language model to respond. This is the drawing of a man with glasses and a scarf around his neck. So to do that, we are going to follow these steps. First, we are going to set up configuration. Then we are going to print out how it's going to look like before fine tuning. Then we are doing image preparation. Then we are doing image pre-processing, data preparation, fine tune the model, and finally saving that to Hugging Face. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about fine tuning a multimodal large language model. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. I'm going to use Mast Compute where you can rent GPU. By entering Mervin Prison, you should be able to get 50% off. So first, Conda create hyphen and fine tuning Python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, Conda activate fine tuning and then click enter. Now pip install datasets, transformers, bits and bytes, sentence piece, accelerate, LoRa lib, peft, pillow, torch, torch vision and hf transfer. I will put all the information in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. Next, click enter. Next, export hugging face hub enable hugging face transfer equals one and then click enter. This is to speed up the process of uploading a large language model to Hugging Face. Next, export your Hugging Face token like this and then click enter. Next, let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. So import torch os locale transforms from torch vision load dataset lora config image from pill. Then we are importing edifix from vision text to text. That's the main function for the edifix large language model. So the first step is initial configuration and model preparation, defining the CUDA device if it's there, then providing the model name, that is edifix 9b. Next, we are providing the bits and bytes configuration. This is used when we want to load in 4-bit. I want to do this tutorial quickly, so just using 4-bit quantization, but you can even try this without quantization for much better results. Next, processor. We are using auto processor from pre-taint and loading the model. Next model equals edifix for vision text to text from pre taint providing the checkpoint and the quantization config. That is the BNB config, which we defined in the previous step, the bits and bytes config. Next device map auto. So if GPU is there, it will take the GPU. Next, we are printing the model just to see the layers. Now we are going to do before fine tuning, how it is going to look like. So we are creating a function called do inference the do inference function just gets the question from the user using tokenizer that is converted to numbers and it is passed to the large language model edifix then edifix is going to give out the response back in the form of numbers then we are going to use tokenizer to convert that back to words as answers that is exactly happening here we are using tokenizer so using this processor function the question or the prompt is converted to numbers and it is given to the large language model as inputs in model.generate function. Then again, the large language model is going to generate numbers, which is then converted back to text. And then we are printing out the response. Now print before fine tuning, providing an image path. That is where you have this image. Next, providing the prompts. That is the image path and the question. What's in this image? Answer. Next, we are going to do inference, providing the model, processor, prompts, and the max tokens. That's it. Just we define the configuration, loading the model in four bits, and we are calling the large language model and asking this question, what's in this picture with the image URL. Now I'm going to run this code, python app.py, and then click enter. Now it's loading the model, and here is the response. Before training, what is in this picture? And the answer is, it's a picture of a person wearing glasses. Now we are going to fine tune to add more details so that the large language model can respond with accuracy. So we have completed initial configuration and before fine tuning. Next, we are going to do image pre-processing and data set preparation. So image pre-processing, we are going to convert 
the image to RGB using this function. Next, we need to transform the image. So we are getting the image size, mean standard deviation. Using that, we are going to resize the image. Then we are adding a prompt. So we are telling the large language model, if we ask a question like what's in this picture, the answer should be this is and the example text. So here is the place where we are providing the image. Using processor, we are converting that to tokens using tokenizer. And finally, we are returning the inputs. So these two functions, convert to RGB and do transforms and DS transforms is for image processing. Next, data preparation. We're going to load the data set. If we see the data set, it contains image column and text column. Now we need to divide this data set into training and test. So DS equals train dot train test split. This will split the data into training data and test data. We are going to split that 90, 10, which means 90% training data and 10% test data. Now train DS, then eval DS. Next, we are going to transform this data. That is train DS dot set transform. That is when you transform the data and the DS transform is a function which we have defined here. And this will automatically resize the image and tokenize. Similarly doing for eval DS. Now data preparation is done. Next is fine tuning, that is training. We're defining the model name, providing the LoRa configuration. This is where you provide the different layers which we are focusing. Next model equals get peft model. We are assigning the model and then configuration. Just printing the trainable parameters for our reference. Now we need to provide the training augs, that is training augs, and then providing which folder you want to save the model, the learning rate, the number of steps, batch size, and the atom optimizer. You can modify this based on your requirement. Next, we are going to define the trainer. Trainer equals trainer. We are providing the model name and the training arguments. That is the step which we previously defined. These are settings for training. Then we are providing the training data set and then evaluation or the test data set. Finally, trainer dot train. This will automatically start the training. Now we are going to print after training how it's going to look like. Image path, then defining the prompts, image path and question what's in this picture and asking for the answer. Now doing the inference, this will automatically ask the last language model which we have trained and providing this image. This will give the final answer after training. Now how to push this to the hugging face, model saving and pushing to hugging face hub. Defining UTF-8, model.merge underscore unload. This will automatically merge the adapter with the actual model. Next, saving the model in the doodles folder, initiating the tokenizer, saving the tokenizer, model.push to hub, then providing the model name. And this is where it automatically takes the token from the environment. Similarly, tokenizer, push to hub, and same as before. That's it. So we prepared the data, defined the configuration for training, then initiated the training. Here we are testing after training how it's going to look like. And finally, we are pushing or saving that to Hugging Face. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, python app.py. And then you can see that it's loading the model. Model loaded now. Now training started. Here we are training 0.2% of the total parameters. That is 8 billion. Training is now complete. It took totally four minutes to complete. So after training, here is the answer. What's in this picture? This is a drawing of a man with glasses and scarf. That is correct. That is exactly what we expected. Finally, the model got uploaded to Hugging Face, which you can see here. One thing to note is that ideally you should be running these code in Python notebook, where you can run the code block by block. Just for tutorial purpose, I put all the command in one .py file. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.